Hey everybody, it's Atheist for the Cause with uh, another article review and guess what it's about? Kathy Griffin's back in the news. I mean, I've covered her a couple times now, but this stuff is just, it's worth going over. And as it develops, I'm just continuing to put some of this information out. So let's take a look at what she said now. It says, Kathy Griffin breaks down. I made a horrible, horrible call. He broke me. And uh, let's uh, listen to this video. For your career after this storm dies down. Absolutely. I don't think I will have a career after this. I think okay. he, I think he, I think he, I'm going to be honest, he broke me. He broke me. He broke me. And then I was like, no, this isn't right. It's just not right. And I apologized because that was the right thing to do and I meant it. And then I saw the tide turning and I saw what they were doing. And I went, oh, okay, they're trying to spin this and they're making it about Baron. And obviously that was never my intent. I would never want to hurt anyone, much less a child. But I started to see what was really happening. And then it was a mob mentality pile on. And so many people have expressed to me personally across the country at my shows, they're scared. So yeah, I don't know what's, I don't know if I'm gonna get arrested today. I don't know. So. She's worried about actually getting arrested, and um, I think that's kind of interesting. Um, what North Korea is making bold. What uh, my uh, what my thoughts are on this are is that I I think that they're trying to. Trump has dealt with this for a long time now, and the celebrities on the left that are extremely rich that that are in their gated communities, you know that are. Um, very pretentious and uh, think they're better than everybody else from a moral standpoint they keep uh, they they've come to the conclusion that basically by any means necessary they have to get rid of Trump or discredit him and they just keep getting more and more extreme and the problem with this is that it's really normalizing the like depictions of you know, a dead president. And there are going to be crazy people out there who can't tell the difference between, um, you know, what is meant to be humor and, is, you know, what's meant to not be real. You know, you're not actually supposed to go and kill the president. And I am for, uh, you know, I want comedians to be able to do their thing. But there is a line and um and she definitely crossed it and you know at some point you have to make a stand you can't just let celebrities get away with crossing the line over and over and over um especially you know given on her platforms you know um so otherwise there will be something that happens to Trump remember this is a this is a president who has had assassination attempts already. We saw him, um, a very serious one, on the campaign trail where the U a guy from the UK was going to school in the US, I mentioned this in a previous video, tried to steal a gun from a police officer and shoot Trump. There was a Democratic operative who uh, went and faked like he had a gun told everybody around him he had a gun and then he said he was going to shoot trump and people freaked out and tackled him and secret service got on him trump ran off uh he had to get or escorted off with by a secret service and um so there have been very serious incidences up to this point already there was the guy who jumped the fence and he said he was going to be a martyr for islam and um he got tackled, but he actually made it on the stage. That was one of the, that was probably the second most severe one of them all. Um, and, you know, Kathy Griffin just didn't go a little over the line. She went way over the line. And, you know, she issued that apology and stuff. And I would <laughs> normally feel kind of bad for her, but, and say that, I don't want her to lose her job. I even made that my first video that I don't, or if she does lose her job, I want her to be able to get another one. But I'm starting to change my 
my position on this because it's how you act afterwards that really shows how sorry you are and you know she uh put out that statement with her lawyer saying that the trump family is bullying her and like made herself out to be the big victim and it just i'm not really liking how she's dealing with the situation at all and uh let's go through this vid this uh, article a little bit it says kathy griffin broke down in tears during a news con conference the comedian and her lawyers held friday to discuss the fallout from comedian posing with the likeness of president donald Trump's severed head griffin addressed the backlash that followed the photo being published on tuesday telling reporters her career is over after she says the trump family systematically mobilized their armies against her and um i'm going to show you why in a, towards the end of this video why i think they're doing this why why they're uh, going after her and uh, why tr you know the trump and his family are d defending themselves even more so against her than some of the other celebrities i'm going to be honest she has said through tears he broke me he broke me he broke me um this is the first time Griffin has spoken out since she was relieved of her duties Wednesday as CNN's New Year's Eve host. When asked by a reporter if she has heard from the New Year's Eve co-host Anderson Cooper, she shook her head while holding back tears. It's hurtful to me, Griffin said. There's a bunch of old white guys trying to silence me, and I'm just here to say that it's wrong. Now listen to the wording on that old white guys that's feminist talk so uh let's just continue she did not mention being dumped as squatty potty celebrity spokesman person um and there's a little article here melania trump questions kathy griffin's mental health after bloodied mask photo shoot you do kind of have to worry, wonder about some of these celebrities. They're in these, you know, high pressure situations, and a lot of them do go crazy. Look at like what Britney Spears did way back in the day, where she went and got married and shaved her head, and it was all sorts of weird. And there's a long history of that, you know. So that's another angle to all this. Um, I'm not saying Kathy Griffin does have mental health issues. Um, but I'm just saying that lots of celebrities do actually. So it is actually, it, it sounds like unreasonable to ask that at first, but I think it is actually a reasonable question. But I would come to the conclusion that she, um, as far as I can tell, she's got no mental health issues. Griffin56 said she stands by the apology she issued hours after the photo first broke Tuesday saying, she feels horrible people took the photo as a threat of violence. She said she plans to continue to make fun of the president as is her First Amendment right. Her lawyer, civil rights attorney Lisa Bloom, reiterated at Friday's press conference. Now, I think there could be a strategy here where even if she doesn't, like, let's say she didn't break the law. The Secret Service could still arrest her and charge her and um, go through the courts. And by the time it all goes through the courts, she would, um, and you know, if she gets, say, the judge rules in her favor, that would do a lot of damage in itself. And by the, nobody will even be paying attention by the time the court case is all over. And um, that would be a way to send a message without actually putting anybody in jail or anything like that. But then there are, you know, ethical issues with that where it's kind of abusing your power to go after somebody if you know that they didn't do anything wrong. And at the same time, I've read articles and I even covered the one where I believe I did where uh some people think she actually did break the law. So it is up for debate whether she did or didn't break the law. I made a horrible, horrible call, she said. Trust me, if I could redo the whole thing, I'd have a blow-up doll and no ketchup. See, uh, that's a big part of it, is uh, how realistic the head looked. If it was a caricature, 
it would have been completely different. Um, she also repeated their claim that the video was a parody meant as a pointed comeback to Trump's remark last summer that journalist Meg Megyn Kelly had blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of wherever. Um, Sienna and Terminator, her, by the way. The com comedian confirmed she has been uh, contacted by the Secret Service and said she fears being arrested. The outcry against the comedian continues to grow with at least four venues announcing that they had canceled her performances. Venues in New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania have canceled shows. And you have to wonder uh, if, um, is this all because of the situation alone or is it more that people don't won't want to go to her shows with the situation going on and also you know you have to have this venue booked and stuff what if she gets arrested and she can't make it so these venues are in a really tough position and it might not be you know um as direct they might not be dropping her for as direct because they're outraged at what she did it might be the impacts of like the support she has from the people and things like that the community arts theater in williamsport pennsylvania posted on its website that the show had been dropped due to the recent controversy surrounding kathy griffin and the concern for the safety and security of our patrons and staff um the message is clear Bloom stated, criticize the president, lose your job, and that's what happened to Kathy. It stops here, it stops now. I, you know, I don't think it's just criticizing the president. I think it's how you do it. Criticism is fine. But there is a way to do it. And so, uh, then we go, and you know, some of you may feel bad for her at this point. So let's uh, look at some other stuff. Keep in mind um, what she said. There's a bunch of old white guys trying to silence me, and I'm just here to say that it's wrong. That's racist, and it's sexist. Racist against men, that is, and sexist against, uh, or sexist against men and racist against white people. Kathy Griffin now says a male comedian wouldn't be attacked for doing this photo. She's playing a vile, absurd, and shameful feminist card. So according to Piers Morgan, Kathy Griffin now says a male comedian wouldn't be attacked for doing this photo. Um, anybody who did this would be attacked. So again, this is the feminist card, just like in the other one. I agree, this is 100% saying a male comedian wouldn't be attacked for this. That's um, especially with uh, some of the perceived issues uh, Trump has had with women on the campaign trail. You know, Hillary Clinton tried to make a big deal out about it. Um, and um, so she's trying to piggyback off of that. And now, if you're still feeling sorry for Kathy Griffin, I'm about to destroy that for you. No longer will you feel sorry for her, I promise. This is from back in December 9th, 2016. Some people are digging up some old articles. And I found a, I saw someone uh, post a Vulture article. Kathy Griffin thinks comedy should go all out on President Piece of Shit Donald Trump. It's a question a lot of comedians are asking themselves lately. What should comedy look like during the Trump presidency? Now more than ever, we must absolutely go for all the absurdities, Kathy Griffin told Vulture at the Equality Now, Gay Equality Now Gala Tuesday night. For me, that's Trump and all things Trump. It's not about trying to be an equal opportunity offender anymore because Hillary got such a beatdown. It's his turn. So I'm happy to uh, deliver the beatdown to Donald Trump. And also to Baron, And I think this is what's getting her fucked. This is why Trump's going so hard f at her. You know, Rosie O'Donnell kept going after Barron. And here, back in December 9th, 2016, she's saying that she's going to go after Barron. 
You know, a lot of comics are going to go hard for Donald. My edge is that I'll go direct for Baron. I'm going to get in ahead of the game. So, of course, Griffin supported Rosie O'Donnell when she tweeted a video asking if Baron Trump, 10-year-old son of Donald Trump, of Donald and Melania, was on the autism spectrum. After the beatdown he gave her, she can say whatever she wants to say to that piece of shit, Griffin said before correcting herself. Oh, that's president piece of shit. So you can see it right here. Her edge is that she'll go direct for Baron. I bet you don't feel so sorry for her now. I bet when you go back and listen. Threats against the U.S. You didn't hear a lot about that during little girls. Uh, I'm just curious. Oh, this is uh, the. It went. It skipped ahead on me. But now, when we go back to this uh, video. And we see these crocodile tears. You don't feel so bad anymore, do you? And uh, in fact, you might take a little pleasure. Absolutely, I don't. In seeing the tears of a woman who threatened and promised to go after a ten-year-old child because she didn't like the politics of his father. What in the serious fuck is wrong with these people? So let's enjoy the tears this time and watch this video again. I think I will have a career after this. I think okay. he, I think he, I think he, I'm going to be honest, he broke me. He broke me. He broke me. Look at the quiver in that lip. Did you see it? Let's go back. I'm actually enjoying this now because she is such a piece of shit. He broke me. See the quiver? He broke me. And then I was like, no, this isn't right. It's just not right. Yeah, it's not right to go after a 10-year-old child and to promise to. Right. And I apologized because that was the right thing to do and I meant it. And then I saw the tide turning and I... Well, I'm sorry. If you apologized and you meant it, it's a little hard to... You know, I gave you the benefit of the doubt, but I can't do that anymore. When you're using feminist cards to say that you're being bullied... By the Trump family and old white men are trying to shut you down and uh, you're gonna go direct after and th this is back in December of 2016 but you're gonna go direct after Barron and that's gonna give you the edge I saw what they were doing and I went oh okay they're trying to spin this and they're making it about Barron and obviously that was never my intent I would never want to hurt a obviously she would she would never want to hurt Anybody, right? Let alone a child. She'd never want that. She'd never go direct after a child. She wouldn't even think of such a thing. Anyone, much less a child. But I started to see what was really happening. And then it was a mob mentality pile on. And so many people have expressed to me personally across the country at my shows. There's okay, here's the thing. Um, I've actually been thinking about this. She says it was a mob menta mentality pile on. It's actually, um, when I think mob mentality, I think of like two people in a feud and then the people on each side coming, you know, coming or at least on one side coming to the defense of one of the people like and attacking the other person as a, a mob just, you know, out of partisanship. When it comes to the president, and you're attacking the president Trump and you're attacking his son Baron. It's less that it's just about defending Trump and it's about protecting like I'm a Trump supporter. By attacking you who's attacking Trump and his son, I'm defending my vote. Because Trump represents my vote. Do you get that? You want him impeached. That's what the left, the Democrats, the celebrities, that's what you guys are all angling for. So when you attack him, you're trying to hurt his image. You want him um, impeached. So I want to go and defend Trump when you do this and many other people do because we're defending our own vote. Because if we don't defend our vote, Trump's gonna could literally get kicked out of office based on bullshit. And then my vote is silenced. Do you think about that? 
I don't think you do. Is that mob mentality? Or is that me looking out for my own self-interest? And a lot of other people that are looking out for their own self-interest who then become this mob-like, um, you know, I guess you could say they we become a mob, but we're not working together as an individual group. We're all acting individually. And for our own reasons, and I would say largely because we're protecting our own vote. I think that's something you don't really get. Scared. So, yeah, I don't know what's... I don't know if I'm going to get arrested today. I don't know. And I hope you do, to be honest. Because I hope a message is sent. It's not okay to go after the President Trump with threats or as close as you can get to threats as possible. I, I hope a message is sent. Although I uh, do protect... Or I do uh, support free speech... There is a limit on free speech um, in the sense that, there, you know, you can't go as far as uh, threatening people. And I w if you get arrested, you know, I have no problem with a judge deciding what happens to you. And if a judge decides that you did nothing wrong, then fine. But this has to stop. You guys are fucking batshit insane. You're just acting crazy. And look at all the anti-fob people. I mean, these kinds of actions, you know, they kind of, um, you're not directly supporting or encouraging anti-fob, but it makes these other people feel like they're doing the deed that you are signaling for that you can't. So, because you have too much to lose. So anyways, um, f whether you guys are on Griffin's side or not, I hopefully uh, I helped persuade you that she actually is a literal piece of shit. So, have a good one, guys.